He's kept them all of these thousands of years in anticipation of this day which is coming. It is through the same grace which saved and established the church that the remnant of Israel will be saved, not through the law. Paul explains this in Romans 10, verse 4, where he says, For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. We see in this picture that the church was redeemed first through Christ, and only afterward will national Israel be redeemed. This is the order which Paul meticulously explains in Romans 9 through 11, and which is also pictured in the story of Joseph's life, if you remember those pictures, back in Genesis. It's also mentioned by the prophet Micah. Here's what he says. Think of Naomi, think of Ruth, who each pictures. Therefore he, the Lord, shall give them up until the time that she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and this one shall be peace. This prophecy from Micah is speaking not just of the time after the Babylonian exile, but after the time from the Roman exile as well. We know this because only after Ruth becomes Boaz's wife, and after the time of the entire harvest season, remember the barley and the wheat harvest, does the Messiah, the greater David, rule. Christ came the first time to serve and to suffer. He will come again to rule and to reign. And this is why the narrative closes out with the name of David, followed immediately by his genealogy. First it says, there is a son born to Naomi. And they called his name Obed, he is the father of Jesse, the father of David.